vicious dog attack in a neighbor's backyard. Good evening. I'm Mike Dardis. And I'm Sheree Palello. Tonight, a nine-year-old girl is in the hospital after being bitten in the face by a dog in West Hamilton. WLWT News Size Emily Wood is live for us at Cincinnati Children's Hospital tonight, where the little girl was flown earlier tonight. Emily. Cherie, that nine-year-old girl had to be airlifted from Fort Hamilton Hospital here to Cincinnati Children's Hospital and Medical Center this afternoon. Neighbors tell me that she was in surgery about four hours ago and was last listed in stable condition. This is the chain that he gets put on. The victim's next-door neighbor, Sherry Feltner, says her sister-in-law's dog was chained up in her backyard while the children were playing outside. To right here. That's how far he can go. Feltner says she was inside with her husband when her daughter and son saw Scrappy attack their nine year old neighbor. And I guess she got too close to him and he jumped up and got a hold of her face and took off some of her nose and was a big chunk of her lip. So, and she was gushing blood. So I ripped off my shirt to stop the bleeding. Feltner says the dog is a two year old purebred Staffordshire Terrier. To her knowledge, he has never attacked before, but is afraid it could happen again. As long as that dog's over there, I'm in fear for my kids, so they can't go over there because I don't want that dog attacking my kids. Feltner says Scrappy was taken inside by her husband after the attack, and a Hamilton medic told her animal control has up to 48 hours to take action. Well, according to the Feltner family tonight, Scrappy's owner says he is properly licensed and registered within the county. And because the dog was properly chained this afternoon, Hamilton police say so far this is not a criminal issue. Reporting live tonight in Avondale, Emily Wood, WLWT News 5.